What is up everyone? Today I'm going to be talking about this sketch of a Frank Fazetta that I did and more specifically talking about the three things that I think, in my opinion, from this experience make his figurative art stand out from other figurative art that you may see. Uh, I also have another uh, Frank Fazetta piece that I am currently working on, again as a sketch, that that I that is far enough along that I can point out these three things as well and I think it really sets it apart but first of all just a little bit about this drawing here first of all it's set up a little bit awkwardly on the page because I started out intending for it to be just a sketch and as I got into it I simply got carried away and I couldn't stop myself. I could not stop myself. I have to say this. Personally, doing this sketch drawing is actually the most fun I have had drawing anything that I've drawn so far. This was the most fun. I enjoyed it from beginning to end. I started it, I started it <laughs> late one night and had to leave off from it got up the next morning i had the house to myself ate breakfast started drawing <laughs> had to fight through taking lunch drew straight into the night i just couldn't stop myself this was such an enjoyable experience for me um, and no, no, it's not just because of Frank Fazetta's girls. Um, I, if you're in figurative drawing, you know that you've seen a lot of naked people. I mean, that's what we do. There's something else about what he's specifically doing with his art that takes it to that other level. And so I'm going to jump into those three things that I think takes his art to the next level and point them out in this sketch and also the other sketch that I have here that's not done but I'm, I'm still working on it. So the first one is more motion and more energy. Now of course we have the obvious motion that like these poses are very dynamic but that's that's the obvious what he is also doing um that is also going to be obvious when i when i say it is almost everything that can move in his art is moving i mean it's so for, for example yes these two poses are very dynamic if you look at this pose it almost seems very dynamic as well but it is a very standard pose but everything has energy and life and motion to it look at the hair how it's i mean like she must be in a hurricane or something like that <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on here everything has motion and energy the loincloth like everything look here even even the little tiny rocks the, the ones that can break off um, due to this guy kind of falling backwards even they are in motion it's everything just just putting more and more energy and feeling and motion into the art um, it just gives it a whole lot of life and it makes it very exciting to look at like there is a lot to look at if you look at a lot of figurative art um, even when the poses are are dynamic most of the hairstyles it's it's not as dynamic it's, some of them it it almost seems like there is a they're using some really good holding spray but that's that's number one there's a lot of motion everything that can move has energy and motion in it the number two is um, the creation of mood um, and this is accomplished several ways in some of the different art, but a part of it is he's very bold with uh, the shadow shapes and the shadows. I mean, very bold. And for some that has that have uh, a lot of atmosphere, he's very bold with that as well. 
Um, so shadow shapes, which I found out for me, is like I really enjoy putting down the shadow and bringing the drawing to life. Um, but the creation of the mood of what's going on is very, very important as well. And number three is the storytelling element. All of his work, when you look at it, you almost instinctively begin asking yourself, what is going on here? Like, what am I looking at? What's the story behind it? Um, why does this guy have a skeleton face? <laughs> Did this guy like just punch his entire face off? Uh, <laughs> like, why is she down here? It, it's like this whole story element. Is this a hero rescuing uh, this lady, a damsel in distress? Like, what is the story here? It makes you think. It makes you engage uh, with the art as well. So it's, it's that storytelling element. And I see these three things over and over again in his art. And I'm going to pull in here. Uh, this other one that I'm working on is also going to be kind of a sketch still in the very early stages of uh, getting this all set and laid in but you see the same thing here um, number one motion right so if you look at this it is a very standard possibly static pose but again everything that can move is moving um, the airing all down to the airings they aren't still and stationary this one is in motion there is wind blowing the here the loincloth the strings on the javelin or spear that she's holding um, it's just this making this intentional effort to infuse a lot of energy and motion and drama <laughs> into into the image second of all we're talking about creating the mood and the dramatic shadows um like an entire leg going into shadow <laughs> the entire neck going into shadow which is going to be part of the hair as well but all of that to shadow all of this part of the arm in shadow it's it's just very dramatic lighting um, placed on the subjects or subject that creates a certain move, a certain mood, a certain tension that's, that really makes it stand out as well. And then storytelling elements. It's not just the model. There are storytelling elements that kind of give you an idea. Okay, so we're looking at this one. Is it an Amazonian warrior because she has a javelin? She's standing in a field. She's just not standing somewhere is like the you can tell what kind of what the climate is with the wind blowing i mean there's you, you can you can see like you're building up this idea of what's going on um there's a story that's starting to be created just by looking at the image and again it causes the person looking at it to engage with it in a different way than if this was just simply a nude model with no props or anything here static i mean there's it's like wow that's a nice drawing but there's nothing to engage with uh, mentally and again i think i think these are the three things that really make his work stand out and like i said man this drawing this sketch was again the most interesting thing that i have done so far even though it's not perfect which is also another thing. I mean, it's almost pulling me out of that perfection mode where it's more tending towards this, em trying to create an emotional um, appeal versus just trying to get perfection. Um, and, and it has just been interesting for me. You'll definitely be seeing uh, more of this type of work, uh, probably even trying to do some of it um, on my own trying to draw in this style a little bit but you will definitely see of course this uh, sketch when it's all done and completed uh, but again if I, I think if you want to take your figure drawing uh, 
to another level, make it stand out. You want to make sure that you're infusing it with motion and energy. You want to create a mood. It can be with uh, the backgrounds or the dramatic shadows or what, whatever you have to create that mood in the photo, the lighting, um, and some storytelling element so that when people look at it, they automatically engage with it and start trying to figure out what is the story behind this photo. Um, but that's all I have to share today. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, want to follow me on my progress as I continue on this art journey, hit the subscribe button, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.